Hi, my name is Mike and I'm with Acme Concrete Raising and Repair, your polyurethane concrete raising experts. Today, we're diving into how polyurethane relates to health, safety, and the environment. Obviously, polyurethane is a safe material. It's all around us, everywhere, every day. However, there are some sources of inaccurate or misleading information out there, so we would like to share with you some answers to some frequently asked questions. Is polyurethane foam hazardous? No, cured polyurethane foam is not hazardous and it is not listed as a carcinogen. Manufacturer safety data sheets and independent testing all conclude this. But you know, remember, hazards can be all around us, sometimes when you least expect it. Sometimes things that you think would be hazardous aren't, and sometimes that you would think that are all natural and not hazardous are actually hazards. Take for example the old mud jacking technology. When a mud jacker would claim to utilize a cement type mixture to raise concrete, those operations could actually involve the use of a crystalline silica dust. Look it up online. There's all kinds of information about it. It's a naturally occurring thing in our environment, but yet it's a known human lung carcinogen. But even in old mud jacking operations, employees utilizing the proper personal protective equipment could mitigate these hazards. Will the polyurethane be harmful to my pets? If your dog or cat sleeps on a pet bed, chances are your pet is sleeping on polyurethane. The main difference between what we're providing is that our polyurethane is much harder, it's water resistant, and of course it's going to remain under your concrete. Is polyurethane harmful to the environment? Polyurethane actually works hard to help our environment. Not only does polyurethane help reduce heating and cooling costs, it's also used to remediate environmental spills and help with coastal erosion. But more impressive is how it's used to actually encapsulate hazardous waste, which helps with their safe management and long-term disposal. Are chemicals going to contact my soil? All of the ingredients that make up our polyurethane are actually mixed while it's still within our equipment. What ends up between your concrete and the sub-base is a solid support structure that is inert and will not leach anything into the ground. Can I dispose of polyurethane at a later date? It's highly unlikely the need to dispose of our poly will ever arise. However, since our polyurethane is non-hazardous, just like foam cushions, mattresses, and padding, it can be safely and easily disposed of in a municipal landfill. Why do some contractors still offer mud jacking? Mud jacking materials are cheap and the equipment is relatively easy to operate and maintain. Polyurethane, on the other hand, is an engineered material and naturally is going to cost more. Our polyurethane injection equipment is much more complex and our employees require special training and materials. In short, it's just easy for them to stick with the old technology because that's what they know. However, some mud jacking contractors are making a move in the right direction by now offering polyurethane as for concrete raising as well as repairing foundation cracks. What can you tell me about Acme Concrete Raising and Repair? Well, I can tell you that health, safety, and the environment is at the very top of our priority list and we're Chicagoland's very first concrete raising contractor to specialize primarily in polyurethane concrete raising and stabilization. Unlike most of our competitors who specialize primarily in waterproofing, concrete installation, or mud jacking, we developed the smart lift system and we have multiple polyurethane injection units ready to serve municipal, commercial, as well as residential customers across Chicagoland. Thank you very much for watching.